Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Season 2, Episode 31. Now you're going to hear a bit more fan in the background than normal. I am in the south and we are being hit with a major cold front right now. So I can't turn my heater off or else I am going to freeze in my room. So you're going to hear a little bit of an extra fan in the background. I am sorry, but it's going to have to be here for this video. Hopefully I won't have to have it running for the next video, but for right now just bear with me. Also, I've done a few things in between, uh, in between episodes. There's now this dirt bridge here. It is not an official bridge. It's not going to stay there. It's just an easy way for me to visualize there's going to be a bridge there at some point. Also, this area is beginning to get covered with planks. Off camera, I'm going to slowly transition all the planks over there. Because that's going to take me a lot of time to do. Also, I think I did one more thing in between videos, but I don't remember quite what it was. Oh, yeah. This needs to be updated. Because now there's a, there's like a lake. Ooh, night. Hold on. Nap time. That map actually needs to be updated. I don't know why I didn't update it yesterday. While I was working. But there we go. Now there's a water source over here. That's the reason I didn't remember what I did. Uh, I know, I think it was in the last two video- Excuse me, sir! I am recording a video! Please remove yourself. Thank you. But in the last video, I finished off these walls. I still have to finish off this portion, like get rid of this and figure out what I'm gonna do. But I started working on texturing this area down here. I'm eventually gonna get some mud and stuff like that, and I completely failed that jump. But there's the new bridge I have in place, and I've started clearing off all this area. And I'm starting to get a water thing over here. I'm going to deepen all of this a bit more and work on texturing it off camera. But whenever I get axolotls, that's kind of the area I want to put them in. There we go. Fully updated map. Now, today, I know there's a few build projects I have lined up that I've got to get done. The ones I want to get done today are the ones that are in black wool that are still up. So, the shop that's in the middle of town, the witch's hut, and that weird diagonal building I have over there. Those are my main focus for today. That, and at some point I have to go into the nether and refine my nether portal. So, those are all on the chopping block of what I need to get done today. Whether or not I'm going to actually get them all done is debatable. How much cobblestone do I have? Okay! First of all, we're going mining. Hold on. I don't think I've shown you guys my mine in a hot minute. Actually, I don't think I've shown it at all. I've shown uh, the cave I've been in a few times. But I haven't shown you guys where I actually get all my cobblestone from. It's still down here. I still have yet to put stairs in this thing. Yeah, th this is my cobblestone room. It's becoming a void underneath my house. And I busted into multiple caves doing it. And then, of course, my cave system is over here. Which is still being worked on steadily. There's gold right there I could probably use. Ah, I'll come back for it later. But I am going to cut for a bit. Come back when I have a whole bunch of cobblestone. Okay, with a whole bunch of cobblestone in my inventory, I can get started on a few of these build projects. Okay, not as full as I want it to be before I get started on a build project, but it's fine. I can work with this. Alright, so we're just going to take four stacks to get started. And I think... The one that's probably going to be the hardest, both the witch's hut and the uh, market building are in the same general design as the rest of the buildings. But the one that's on a diagonal, I'm worried about. So I think I'm going to do that one first. Okay, now this is going to be the first house I'm building on a semi-diagonal. Uh, I haven't built one of these since I've been on PC. I built, I think, one back when I was on console. So I don't build these all that often. Because, as many people know, building on a diagonal is a little bit different than building on just any other plane. I 
typically it's more difficult. And these buildings are going to be hugging, literally. That's nice. I completely miscalculated that. Okay, I can't really get a good angle of the building because it is kind of squished in there. But I did end up adding a top portion to it. Kind of like our Fletcher's house that's down there. There is like a smaller piece of a house up top to kind of deal with the roof lines. And I did add a, like a little chimney so the skyline looks a little bit better. If I back up a bit more. Now we have multiple chimneys in one area. So it makes a little bit more sense. I may end up coming back and adding a chimney to one of these other two houses. Or maybe even both of them later. But for right now, that's the only place with a chimney. And I think I have another one somewhere else in this town. I think it's on... It's like down here somewhere. Yep, there it is. It's right there. So there are a few chimneys around. Okay. Now, next thing I gotta do. First of all, clean out my inventory. Because I have so much stuff cluttered in there. And then I need to get started on one of the other buildings. Now we have this changed. Gosh, give me a free hand. There we go. And there we go. Now we don't have that ugly black square there anymore. Now I need to get these two. Ah! Okay, which one to do, though? Uh... Witch's Hut I have some ideas for, but I don't quite know how I want it to sit just yet. So I may end up going ahead and doing this market space here. After I get my inventory cleared out. Okay, now we need to get this area done. I'm looking around because there- okay, there's Wall. Wall's over there having a fun time. But I decided to bring Wall out with me for this one. And this was going to end up being the doorway. Let's go ahead and get some doors in. That is the wrong direction. There we go. Now with some do some doors do dolls in place. Doors in place. It's time to get a full build up. You just having a party down there? Okay, you do you, buddy. You do you. You look like you were having fun. Okay, now forgive, forgive the loud sheep noises. They're right there, so it's bound to get loud. But that's what we've got for a market. I did put like a little bit of a balcony up top. It's a little bit bigger than the other balconies I've done. So I did give it a little bit more support and a little bit more of an awning on the roof. I may come back and re-detail it later because it looks a little off now. So I may come back and end up fixing it. But, for right now, we have just a little bit of a shop entrance, and a little bit of a counter. And none of the rest of this is really decorated, but I wanted there to be a little bit of a stone floor and some sort of a counter back here. So I went ahead and put that in. But there is the market house. Now let's go get it on the map. Gosh, does it feel better to not have that mark there anymore. Now that building is right up on the wall. So you can actually get on the roof of that building from the wall that's behind the blacksmith. So we may end up with some sort of uh, iron golem situation happening up there. Possibly. Now I know we just got rid of a lot of the squares that were on our map. But I'm going to end up putting some more up. Because the next slew of buildings that have to go up is my storage area. Which I have no plans for whatsoever. I've said briefly that I kind of have an idea as to how I want the buildings to sit. But truthfully, I have not a clue as to how they're actually going to sit. So I have to go over there and figure that out. So after I get done emptying my inventory, we're going to head over there. And I know in a few episodes ago, I think it was episode 30, I actually took down all the black wool that was over here. Because that was a plan that was very early on and I wasn't actually thinking about any of it. This plan is going to be more like those buildings. Where I have it set in stone where the buildings are going to sit. So I'm going to have to do that same thing with the buildings that are down here. Okay, now it looks like a good bit of chaos over here. 
That's because I had to use multiple different colors of wool because I didn't have enough black to mark out everything. So this building is like half black, half white. But we do have the gray wool here that is marking where the doorways actually are. So I don't forget where I wanted them at. Now there are some pretty uh, squish buildings back here. And if you remember me talking about this, this is going to be the dockside town. So this area down here is actually going to end up being planks. And there's going to be houses built directly onto the dock. This is just kind of like the center of town, I want to say. But this place is going to be a lot more ramshackle. It's going to be buildings stacked on, stacked on top of buildings. And it's going to be a good bit different from what I've got back here, which are more formal, put together kind of Tudor style houses. When this is just going to end up being like one story houses and other houses stacked on top of each other and things of that nature. So these corners may not even say here. I may end up just not doing these and just building up these center houses and then stacking other houses on top of it and stuff like that and doing other things for details instead. I don't know quite yet. But with all of that done, I've gotten two buildings up that have been needing to go up for a while. We have some concrete plans going in for the dockside town. And oh, hold on. I actually didn't show you guys this. There was another thing I did off camera that I probably need to go and check anyway. I know I said I was going to do an upgrade on the, you'll hear it. You don't hear the minecart anymore. But I actually have done an upgrade to the sugarcane farm. Now it's not fully done yet. I still have to go down here and put the other side to the machine on. But now it's a much larger machine. This one is actually 10 across instead of the seven I had beforehand. And we actually already have a stack in here, look at there. But I've been AFKing a lot more to try and get more sugarcane. But once I get both of these in, I think that's where I'll stop as far as making these. Because this one's already producing a good amount just with me being here. But that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye!